together, yes. So we do the mapping and the setup. We go back to the system setup where all the systems are coming together. Yeah. Go to the group result. This is where we do the mapping because we wanted to bring all the data from the source system and then put it into the target system, right? Yeah. So yeah. our target system is the, uh, here I've got two set of mapping. One is a vendor mapping. One is a GL account mapping level. So I'll just select the GL account level. I'm just creating a name here and mm -hmm. I'm going next. What it is going to do, it's a target table. First, we map the table. Mm -hmm. We map the fields of the table. So for example, now I'm just using one of the table from SAP as my target table, or yeah. I can just create my own target tables here, right? So what the target table is going to be. In this yeah. case, I'm using a reference SAP table as my target tables. I'm just going next. So once I've selected the table, now I'm going to the fields. So that means when I'm selecting the fields, this target tables is having this set of fields in the in the target table. So I can just go and edit these fields, any of these fields. I know that is that is that an SAP standard set in there? Is it? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. We are just pulling out these data from SAP uh, as the target table fields. So these are probably the characteristics, yeah. or it could be value, or it's a date field. You know. So how that field, uh, yeah. that target table fields are done. Yeah. What I do is that I go to next. Now I'm selecting my source system. Here I've got two systems, SAP and Oracle. Although um, my target table was selecting SAP, now I'm going to the specific SAP system, which table on the SAP I'm linking now. So this is the part where I'm linking my target table to the source table. What I'm linking, I'm going next. Then what I'm doing here is that this is where I'm assigning all the structure. So that means that so that's the target table and that's the source table and in source and target mapping i'm just mapping between the source field to my target field my source field to my target field so this is where all the mapping happens yeah, yeah. Now, now the values so what we call as a value mapping so that means my company code may be having three or four different company codes in that field so i want to map my values of the company code that's where we go and create in the value mapping. This is where we go and come and create. And then uh, is equal, uh, how I'm going to define, you know, if, if it's exactly equal or is it in a, in a range. Sometimes what may happen is that you don't want to map account by account in, in my target system. So you may say that, okay, all the assets account, maybe it's running 20 GL accounts. We want you to just map it to one GL in my target system, right? Which yeah. Then we will just provide the range here, see? Now I've got a setting uh, which will be called company code field. Now when I'm going into this, now what I'm, what I'm having is that I have assigned company code source field to the target field company code 4300. Then I'm going to go and create uh, 3200 company code. I want to map it to 5,000 company code in my target system. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save the values. So what it's doing now, my, my target system is now identifying any company code that comes as 1,200, my target company, my target system will assign into 4,300 company code. Absolutely. So this is where the entire brain of the system where it's a, as you can see, this is, this is user driven. You don't need a developer to map and all this, do those uh, mappings, complicated mappings, and end user can themselves control these aspects. So yeah. it becomes very easy system for the end users to manage their own mappings uh, in, in the structure.